Here's the garden. Middle of August. Dill. Flowering. Lovely. Great for uh, attracting beneficial insects. So, we'll just let it go to seed, see where it pops up next year, I guess. Had some good winds, which has knocked down our little cosmos and flowers here, which is always just a nice addition to the end of a, a garden row or bed. Same with the uh, chamomile. Welsh onion down here, which is lovely. I haven't eaten much of that, and I need to get on that. Swiss chard, which is, is uh, prolific. Uh, pick it, and you turn around and you think you haven't even picked it. And I believe we've got some melons creeping through here. I've just picked a couple of lovely... The plant itself doesn't look so lovely, but I've picked a couple of nice, uh, really large cucumbers off of there. Some massive ones off here. <coughs> uh, more Swiss chard, which was harvested. Uh, but still looking good. More dill. More little flowers. Planted some more Swiss chard in succession. Uh, as some of that, as you can see there, perhaps the tallest Swiss chard is going to seed. Some more cabbage planted. Um, that bed was really inundated with lamb's quarters. And of course, you can still see all the lamb's quarters coming up nonstop. Uh, which we've eaten, which is nice, but I wanted to grow some other things. So the onions actually survived the lamb's quarter. Even these beets, you can actually see a beet uh, down in here, I think, coming along nicely. And uh, more bull's blood beets here, which are pretty massive now, and I'm pretty pleased with that. Big onions, some more beets that I've planted, cabbage beets, just filling in wherever I've weeded. Uh, celery coming on. Planted pretty late, uh, but doing well. So we'll get some little stalks there as well, I think. Uh, more Swiss chard, why not? Uh, moving over to this bed, it's uh, uh, just a mess of tomatoes sprawling everywhere. We didn't really sucker. Uh, you have to be here kind of every day to do that, I think, but I'm not, so... Uh, and chrysanthemum, which is edible. This is an edible chrysanthemum, uh, which also hasn't been harvested much. Um, but the flowers are nice, and uh, I could certainly pick some greens and great in a stir fry. Uh, certainly used more so in Korea, Japan, and China, I suppose, but why not here? Uh, I've done a bunch of just chop and drop of lamb's quarters in here as well as feeding pigs with them. And the chrysanthemum uh, continues on. Some onions and glads that my sister planted. I believe we've got oh, some massive sunflowers here, of course. Uh, skirret, I think, going to seed. Um, jumping over another bed, we've got some wonderful leeks, although this one took a bit of a hit. Should still be good. Leeks, massive amounts of potatoes, which have done exceptionally well, as you can see. Of course, some big pigweed and lamb's quarter is going to seed, but we'll feed some pigs with those. Some big onions down in there. As you can see, that's a pretty good size onion. Um, shall we try and go over uh, to the corn over there? Uh, I've got these beds not too wide that you can't step across them, but with all this vegetation, the, it's, it's quite amazing, actually. We've harvested some nice red and green cabbage. We've got this funky uh, mountain painted corn, uh, which I'm not sure what to do with just yet, uh, but it's kind of neat and some of this getting some cobs on it. Um, that is chocolate mint, which is absolutely delicious. Uh, all those little yellow flowers, the little ones, mind you, not those other yellow on the south thistle, I believe. But the little ones all, I hope, will eventually be um, an orange cherry tomato, which you can dry and uh, almost tastes like a raisin, they tell me. Uh, so looking forward to that, and it should be lots of them if we get some heat. Um, and we've got sort of a three sisters planting here with your corn, some squash coming in, um, the beans, well... 
they're in there. Uh, they just haven't quite done as well as we would have hoped. Um, that might be scared actually. No, I can't remember. Um, and mallow, I believe, with the mint. Um, that was our three sisters planting, which worked well. Just uh, been har been replanting beets and, and basil and things from uh, transplants and seed. We got a nice little uh, gourd in here, which probably can be harvested. Um, it's getting to a good size, I think, and there's more to come. Oh, and we've got uh, some gorgeous melons here. The cabbage has gotten so big they've split. Need to get on top of that. But these are just absolutely gorgeous. Some little beets and things coming up. Lots of beans need to be harvested once it gets a bit hotter today. Uh, sunchoke, doing well. It hasn't flowered yet, but certainly doing well. Let me just pop these with... Oh, that's what happens when you spill beans in your... and tomatoes and other things in your compost pile and you let it go. Uh, as you can see, uh, not, not, a, uh, not a bad little harvest of cukes and zucchinis and other things. Greenhouse is coming along. Uh, just planted a bit of cover crops here. Tons of tomatoes. We actually have some in there. Hopefully we'll get some. Spearmint, which was... Uh, of course does well, as well as the oregano, it just goes mental, which is lovely. Kale, awesome, doing very well. Uh, more carrots, we're actually even getting, finally, some broccoli heads, which is nice. And uh, golden purslane there, you can see that lovely little color in with all the lamb's quarter. Kohlrabi, which survived the onslaught and has been growing all year, but I don't know if we'll ever get one. And some ground cherry over there, uh, more tomato, more peppers, more beans. Uh, just really planting everything we had uh, in the corner. I picked a nice big uh, zucchini off of that. And uh, of course we've got heaps of carrots coming up. This is all uh, Brussels sprouts. And over here, hopefully another cabbage. We've got some very thickly planted, and I should harvest some to thin this out. Uh, radishes, um, spinach going to seed here, although it's still certainly good to eat. A little spearmint on the end. Um, and more lamb's quarters. We've got some epic looking um, turnips or a daikon radish. I really am not sure. I uh, planted some things in here. They're growing like trees almost. Anyways, this is the bounty uh, that is the garden. It was just sort of left to be a uh, weed field, if you will, although a lot of those weeds were edible, and there's a lot of mint growing in here, which certainly understand why our mints are doing so well. Um, but trying to incorporate perennials on the ends of these beds, kind of stabilize them, uh, as well as I'll be trying to do more with perennial vegetables, uh, certainly along the edges, and maybe alternating beds, doing perennial and annual cropping. Uh, but pretty pleased, first year. Um, actually, first time having a garden. I think it's done pretty well. And I'm only here on weekends um, as I'm working on a small CSA just up the road so I can bike down and bike back. It's great. And um, hopefully we'll just continue to uh, reap the harvest. All right. See you next year. Or sooner. <laughs>